For many years, patients living with HIV have been strictly following their provider's advice. This, together with wonderfully effective medications, meant that patients can't transmit the virus since the viral load is undetectable and have a normal or near-normal CD4 count. However, people living with HIV have accelerated aging, heart attacks, and cancer more often than if they were never infected. New research, though, suggests that providers and their patients can address and hopefully avoid these problems. Even before HIV is able to kill CD4 T cells, the immune system makes extra CD8 T cells to attack HIV. This was a useful response when there was no medication to block the virus. But even after patients take medication and the virus is blocked, these extra CD8 T cells live on, throwing the immune system off balance and causing problems. While we know very safe ways to block the virus, we can't yet easily correct this imbalance. A key measure is the ratio between CD4 and CD8 cells. Ideally, this measure is above 1. Young patients who started therapy very early after infection typically initially have a CD4 to CD8 ratio less than 1. However, it may return to above 1 only after a few years on HIV medication. Most infected HIV patients spend many years or even decades with a ratio below 1. Many have 2 to 10 times more CD8 cells than CD4 cells. Studies have recently shown at ratios less than 0.4, people living with HIV are more likely to develop pneumonia, have heart attacks, or get cancer. It has taken scientists a long time to recognize the importance of returning the ratio to a level expected if HIV never occurred for several reasons. The ratio of young babies naturally falls within the normal growth from about 3 to 1. As puberty hits, a woman's ratio is slightly higher than men's until menopause. Many life experiences, such as infections, toxins, stress, and even mental illness can change the ratio slightly. We are only now starting to track the cumulative effects of these things. It is obvious that the ratio recovery is possible with the newer medications. This is true even for people living with HIV whose ratio is less than a tenth of what it should be. For people living with HIV, it is now clear that the provider and the patient need to work together to at least get the ratio to above 0.4 as quickly as possible, just like they partnered to get the viral load undetectable.